welcome to the channel guys we're outside it's a chaotic morning i'm stressed puppies millie barking all night long running all over you too strange items showing up at the place that i'm sure millie's bringing home bowls i got toys that i didn't buy <laughs> all right Waddles is uh, going nuts here. Chick, chick. Got the broody hens in there. Get out of there. It's dangerous back there. That dog barked all night long. I mean loud. She keeps that up. She can't stay. Because I can't deal with that. Running all over to the other houses and stuff. I like that part. But man, what do we got over here now? What is this? Piece of the shade cloth that makes a good toy for him, but uh, what is this? I did not buy that. I don't know who brought that home. Are you a dog? Are you a toy thief, Tilly? You got in a scrape. Yeah, is that from you and Millie playing too hard? All right, guys, let me show you what we're doing this morning. I've got to fix this roof up here. Now, let's go on up here and I'll show you what I think I... Ow! <clears throat> Old rusty fence. Better bend that out of the way. It's just I've spilled water on me. I've done it. Oh, it's been a morning. All right, we got quite a bit of gap in here. Okay, my idea is rather than to put my flashing, my piece of... I'm going to put another piece of this right across there. It'll look better. And it will rot or seal, you know, from that water getting in. You can see the old flashing tape. That did not work. So I'm going to have to pull this metal off. Or at least uh, the front screws. See if I can get that out of there. No, I'm not. I ain't doing none of that. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I've got two options. I can build a frame. I want to bring this out. I'm going to bring this out to about here. There's no need that needs to have a big old overhang like that. And one option is to build a frame, attach the metal here. Or the other option, which I think I'm going with, is just going to put two, two or three solid two by sixes in here. The reason being, if I build a frame, that's creating a cavity. Okay, creatures can get in there and nest, and I don't want that. So we're going to try to get this built out I've got enough of that scrap it doesn't have to be all one long piece I'll put pieces and build it out well I really had to piece the purpose then let me see what I got in there because that stuff's just laying around if, uh, if I can do some solid pieces that'll that'll work and then I'll put the metal and the flashing on and then I should not have any water getting in here I also got a gap there uh, but it has to be raining pretty hard even the way it is you know and it's only happened twice and that was in two floods so this will eliminate that i've got to dress that corner down there man i just wish it wasn't so hot when i built this thing because it did terrible terrible job on it so i think what i'm gonna do now is get up here and see if i can't get that well that tape's not gonna matter there's no really no reason to pull this this metal off so let me see what i got let me get a measurement here see how long that is see what i got laying around uh i can do it that way in pieces i just got to make sure this end is covered so nothing can get in there up in there it's not going to matter so i think i'll just find all my scrap maybe put build it out here build it out in the middle build it out on the end and then bring that out then i'm going to cut a piece of this hopefully that's wide enough don't have my tape measure but uh i've got a, a lot of this laying around and also what that'll do is as this comes down it brings it uh, shorter so i'm able to, i'll be able to just cut it out of this right here and not have these uh, ridges in there so we're going to just build it out until we get to about here this don't need much overhang and it'll look much better that looks like crap like that 
all right let's get it going i'm gonna try to film everything i do today but there's a chance of rain so another reason i do not want to really have to pull this metal off let's see what i get done it's called the interlocking sleep mode only puppies do it each 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 of them have their own pillow which is the other friend yeah tape isn't as bad as I thought it was it's just come on stick on stuck and it's peeling back and I put these boards on that flashing tapes still holding up it'll hold up so I shouldn't have put any other kind of flashing in the basic idea is we're gonna come out I know this is kind of weird but I got a lot of scrap and building the frame like I said you know well, it really don't matter still gonna have cavities in this uh, and then I'm gonna put that piece there the only problem is you know now we got the gap under there but if that flashing tapes high enough and I do got another piece of flashing I think I got 10 feet of it I don't know how long this is 12 I think uh, I may run that metal flashing back there with that in front of that tape in fact I'm going to and that'll keep anything from getting in there all right, let me work this out. I got to measure, see how long this is. I believe it's 12. All right, essentially what I'm doing is taking this flashing. You can see where the flashing tape was right here. So that's still, it's stuck down here. So water comes in. Of course, there's gonna have, we're gonna have another piece of metal there. Water comes in, it's not gonna get through there. And uh, I'm gonna just secure this. When I screw the boards in, this will hold this in. I only have 10 feet. But the last few, I'm going to see if I can find a little bit more, but the only, uh, the last two feet's that little cubby hole in there. I don't care about that. And that flashing uh, tape is up enough where I can fix that. Uh, I know it's a crappy little fix, but it's going to fix it. It's going to keep the water out of here. And it'll look better because it didn't look good like that. I just didn't get to finish this. You know, it was just so hot. Uh, I was in a rush to... I was in such a rush to get this done so I could get these dogs in here so they would have air conditioning. And it was a good choice because it was an exceptionally hot summer. So we got them in there, but not my best work. But now we can come around and hopefully make it look better and, and dry. And let me see how long it's going to take me to get this done. See what else we can do to waterproof this thing a little better temporarily until I get some cement or whatever all right all right something like that and i gotta put some more box in because that won't span that there's nothing to screw it to and uh i didn't think of that but this is only so long it's only i don't know three foot not even that so but it's gonna have a piece of flashing 
bent that goes behind this and comes down like you see up there like you see on the house uh, I don't know that it'll do any good you know I don't even think it's really necessary other than because it, it, it's still not going to close that gap so I'm going to go ahead and skip putting that on uh, because you know you've still got the flashing in the back here and the flashing tapes up now so you know I don't know any other way to do it guys I really don't I'm gonna bring this all the way out to the here I think and then I'll run a piece I don't know but I got to get some more blocks at least in there the rest of rest of them will they'll fit but that's certainly better than having that great big spot and it's gonna look better let's go back here I don't have nothing screwed down yet or nothing but yeah I don't think I need to put any flash in there you know if it becomes a problem I'll just foam that or something oh yeah uh, yeah I'll have to line up the the grooves well they already are basically but I think that looks a lot better that's gonna keep that water when that water comes in it's gonna hit that down and out I don't care it ain't a master carpenter job check this weed check this thing out it's budding yeah but it's not allowed to grow there it's a weed it's perfect take that mother nature boy i'm gonna get some hate comments on that all right let me try to shove this flashing down yeah that's gonna work just good get out of there <laughs> I said, oh, another scroll. Ay, I was a gabaga. And the manga booga taga dog. Yes, the noises are necessary. I am contorting. Get out of my way! <sighs> Who put them screws in there? I hope this is the hardest part of the job. Ugh. At least it's not like sitting on a stove top like it was when I put this stuff on here. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I think it's funny watching me contort my body. Yeah. All right, what now? Okay, slide on down. Oh, like a glove. Like a pig glove. All right, now I gotta go to, that I got this secured. I gotta go down to that end and start putting the boards in. Work my way this way. Here Show you what I need, guys. Okay, need to get me. <laughs> get up there. Get me some grapes and have a couple of ladies with some fans. This be a good place to take a nap, man. It would. Right now, the weather's perfect. Get to work. Ah. All right, guys. This is how the water was getting in. You see this flashing tape? Now it's it's it was pouring into there. Okay. So what I did here, as you can see, you now you see at the bottom of that flashing the flashing tape. So no water can get inside there now. And like I said, I built that out. Hey. It may not be standard carpentry. I'm using my scrap. It's going to be hidden. And it's bringing this out because it is unnecessary for that to uh, be out that far, actually. And I may just drive another sheet metal. Because if that wind's coming directly from the west, I don't want nothing getting up under here. 
so I'm gonna go ahead and lay another one down right here I know it's pretty close to that one I'll cut me some more uh, I'm gonna put another row in there too I think but here's the, the situation very limited on screws and I know I got some somewhere guys you know why am I so fat when all I do is run around looking for tools I should be 102 pounds Oh, I'd look good 102 pounds, wouldn't I? All right, let me get back to work. All right. Got it all in there. I made those last two real long, you know, because that that will hold that flashing tape back, and it did. So no water can get up in there now. Yeah, I got a little bow there. Ah, the tape is up, so that's, that's the good part. I don't know if you can see under there. But that's why the water was getting in. And like I said, it only happened them two flood them times we had them two floods with all that rain. So what I'm gonna do now, get a measurement for this piece right here. That's gonna look a lot nicer coming out this far versus having that great big uh deep spot in there. And uh it'll keep that water flowing a lot better. Alright, let's get this going got a lot of stuff to do yet all righty get this piece cut saw blade so I can turn and put it on my circular saw. But I ain't got one that'll fit that saw. I just gotta get these mastered. Millie, you're scared of everything. trouble in their work but the only thing I like about them is they're quiet all right let's get this up there and check it all right, I am putting flashing on there because that will keep anything from getting back there oh, I stopped
369. I don't remember how long that was. Uh, one more. Well, we'll come back. I don't get this stuff up there, man. Got everything cut. All right, guys. We've got the flashing down. <laughs> Missed the board there, didn't I? Where the hell is the board? Uh, that's the problem. Now I don't know where they are. All right. And so when the water, see if I can get you there. Water's going to hit here from the, if it's coming from the west and it's going to flow down onto that. Ba bam, chicka bam. And it gets up in here, then it's got the, the flashing behind it. Best way I can figure to do it. All right, let me start getting some screws in here. I'm going to set y'all right there. Don't know how good you're going to see. All right, not, not very uh, comfortable working situation. All right, now I gotta look and see where this daggum board's at. Oh, where'd you go? I almost gotta put that back in. Nah, there's flashing behind where that hole is, so it ain't gonna hurt nothing. All right, all right, now I know I got a board here. Go ahead and drive one in here. You know, I ain't going for beauty. But it's going to look a lot better than it did. There we go. There's the board. So we'll put it on that side. That was, it's a miracle I found screws. back there right man all right all right guys that didn't work out uh the problem was it, where i didn't have the full length board the metal was buckling so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull this back off i'm gonna use full length boards all the way across and i'm gonna take one one of these out and just screw it to that uh, that way I don't have to worry where the board's at. I got anywhere I screw there's going to be a board. So let me let me get this uh, taken care of and we'll come back and put that in. I'm probably not going to feel much more of that. I'll come back when I got it all done. Alright guys, there it is. Ain't no water getting in that way again. We got the 6 inch flashing behind all that. That's going to keep, and that is also in front of the flashing tape, which was still intact. It just wasn't stuck all the way. Uh, eh, there's parts of it that's a little wavy. I, I see where I got the, sometimes on this metal stuff, you got to get set back and uh, loosen screws to get it all straight. But uh, I'm not going to worry about it. It looks better than it did. And I'm going to put some little piece on the side here and that's sagging on that piece of junk eve i built so i gotta fix that and then we still got to do the front of this and fit it with it this thing ain't finished but uh man and i was able to put a few more screws in the roof i know a professional roofer will look at this and laugh because i'm laughing but uh it ought to stay dry now now it has three types of flashing and that so if even if it hits it straight on i don't see how any water would get in there all right i'm gonna go up to the top there take a gander at what's going on up there uh, i already know what's happening there where these two walls met and i put the flashing on the deck but water's getting down in there because it's not it's not high enough and you see I got that temporary board stuck on top. That's not doing much good when we get the real home dinger of a storm. So I'm going to go up there and see what I can look and see what I got. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to put metal on that all the way across. Heck, I might even have enough to do it. I got that big piece. Yes, I know I got enough to do it. Yeah, oh yeah, there's some big pieces back here the, of the green. There's a piece back there, and there's a big, great, long 16-footer there. 
so I'm gonna go ahead and start on that I think don't hold me to it it's getting late that took me longer than I thought it would don't move so fast anymore and there's that stolen toy Man, I just got all this cleaned up over here. Look, I made a mess today. Man. All right, yeah, I'm not gonna start that 10 today. Uh, the time got away from me. It's already like three o'clock. So, I went up there and looked, man. I, for the life of me, can't figure out how anything's getting in there. But it's got to be where the deck meets the wall. Now, if I put that metal on there, that's going to bring it out. You know, the width of that. If, especially if I even put some uh, strips across there and bring it out some more. Because what I plan to do is put a big, like, tabletop across that roof. Where that, see where that rail goes on there? Yeah, you can stand up there. It's a perfect height. Have you a cold beverage? Yeah, but there's a lot of details need to be done up here yet painting all that but glad we got that part done because that's that's not good so all i got to work out now was talking about putting an awning there don't know uh what the real or maybe slope some concrete an awning wouldn't be bad but man that's a little bit too much then i gotta worry how am i gonna get in there to get to my uh spigot you any ideas there buddy you you do but you never say them on camera yeah and uh look how out of square that my building is square that's how out of square that uh pad was they poured you know like i said they just poured it for a hot tub boy it's terrible and so i didn't want to come out here to the edge otherwise i would have but it was just so uneven there so i, I came back a little bit oh uh, well, i should be able to get a lot of these problems fixed in the next few weeks hopefully this french drain cures a lot of issues i'm thinking it will and uh if it starts raining good enough tomorrow, I'm putting a raincoat on. We're going to come out here. We're going to film that water coming out. Because it's got to. What you doing, Miss Tillers of Tillerville? Yeah, look at your tattoo there. That means you're fixed. Yeah, boy, they did a good job on her uh, spay. They just glued her. I think they did. You ain't got no stitches. Yeah, you ain't got no stitches. Rooster. <laughs> when I got Rooster, she came to me spades. They, they just spayed her. And they told me, yeah, she'd just been spayed. So I, about two months after I got her, I'm looking. She still got stitches in. So I had to take her in to get stitches uh, taken out. So I, I made sure I asked on uh, Tilly. And I think about another week, she'll be dried up enough. I can take her in to get her fixed. But man, if she goes around hooting and hollering like she did last night, she's going to Minnesota too. And that's one dog I really don't want to rehome again because of the way she is. You know, uh, she she did that when she first came here, and then she settled down. And now that I released her out of there with the puppies. She's starting to do it again hopefully you know it's nice to have a dog out on the outside to run things off but i don't hear no other dogs barking when she's barking what do you got your stolen toy ain't no telling where she got that there's a bowl over there too i don't know where it come from yeah the wind's starting to pick up and i don't feel like dealing with that metal in the wind i've got to put some weight on this one all right, guys, we're going to just call out a video. Probably wasn't that long. Uh, got one thing off the list. All right, thanks for watching. Happy trails. What are you guys doing? Why did you drag that thing way over there? You guys are just... And you, somebody pooped in there? There's pee in there? Now I got to take that thing out. Stop what I'm doing. And get rid of that and clean it out. Oh, I'm gonna get you. You guys are monstrous. 
You got styrofoam everywhere. I gotta get rid of that. Your water, oh, horrible. You guys are the poopinest bunch I've ever seen. Yeah, you are. You can't even walk around these guys. Oh. They're just feet monsters. Just feet monsters. How am I supposed to walk? Oh. Good God. What are you doing, dirty nose? I can't even walk, guys. All right, there you go. Get involved with that. Leave me alone. I'm trying to edit a video, and I gotta stop. And you guys have got that thing drug halfway outside. <sighs> you guys are getting big, man.